are so excited that you're back at it again. My name's Louie. And I'm Leanne. And this is Rich Kids Online. The month of May is speeding oh by, and we believe that we are at the halfway point in our month, and our challenge, what candy is it? That's right. It's hard to believe that we can already be on our third taste test. We've already sampled various candy bars and candy-covered fruits. Yeah, it's been a sweet <laughs> month. And we're tied right now. It's like four to four, basically. We got all three of them. Both of us got all three of them. That's right. Because we're know, awesome. We are. And today, the challenge is going to continue. Now, what we're doing, in case you did not see oh, the yeah. last two weeks, which you might want to tune in so you can see it, is yeah. we are doing blind taste tests we on go different like kinds of candy. We count to three and candy randomly appears. It does. It does. And then we eat it. That's and right. And we count to three again and we shout out what candy we think it is. That's right. And today is one of your favorite candies. It's gummy types of candy. So you may have a slight edge. I you can't may end up wait. working on this I love one. gummy candies. Uh, okay. Do we need to explain anything else? We're ready to go. I think we're ready to go. All right, we're going to put our blindfolds on. Here we go. One, two, three. Whoa. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right. Mm. Oh. Mm, I already know what it is. Oh, I think I know what this one is. Wait, gummy fruit. Orange slice. Oh, okay. I mean, we have to know what one it is. Well, Are they all I mean, orange? I don't know. It tastes orange to me. I haven't tasted. Is there, there's three on here, aren't there? They are the same. I'm guessing they are all orange. Judge. Orange slice. Dang it, you got it. Orange yes. slice it was. Can't These believe I got the first one. I just want a fruit slice. I didn't think I didn't even think to like think mm -hmm. about what flavor it was. They kinda and all it, taste the same though, don't yeah, they? Yeah, I was gonna say it has a slight orange flavor to it. Yeah. But Okay. Alright, we ready? I'm Three, ready. Two, one. one. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh. Mmm. One. Two. Three. Peach rings. Yeah, peach ring. Sorry. Were you not ready? <laughs> I wasn't ready. I counted to three. <laughs> you were fast this time. You like took a really quick bite. But I, I mean, I'll give you that one. I would thought, I, okay, we need an official judge to do the countdown. Okay. How long do you get to like figure it out? I don't know. I just, it was really chewy. I didn't even really get to chew it. <laughs> I mean, you like literally must have just popped it in your mouth and yelled three, two, I one. I can tell. <laughs> I right. can tell by holding <laughs> I eat, a lot of, I eat a lot of candy. <laughs> you must, because I think that's the first time I've ever had a peach ring. <laughs> Woo, and it was very peachy. Anyway, yeah, I'm not a big fan you of ready? peach rings. ready? I'm ready. One, Three, two, two one. one. Yeah. One. Oh, wait, I got to put it in my mouth. Yes, right. oh, wait, please. is it in your mouth already? No. Okay, ready, <laughs> set, go. Oh, my gosh, I already know. One, two. Oh, I three. know what this is. Hot five! Oh, that was good. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm that was so three. I was a little afraid because when I felt it, I thought it might be like the licorice flavored thing, like were those like good and plenties or something like that. Yeah. But this yeah, is I much mean, better. Are, yeah, you're I like really hot good. Tamales. Wait, did you try all of them? Oh. Mm. <laughs> I've been unblindfolded for a while. Oh, have you really? <laughs> <laughs> for like 10 seconds. Oh, well. Uh, hot tamales mm. are really good. But, I love hot tamales. Um, I'm not sure everybody's here to watch us eat candy. Probably not. There's probably a deeper meaning. I think they probably want to hear us do a quick review and move on to our new Bible video for yeah. the week. Last week we learned that God kept his promise to bring his people home. The Jews had been in exile for 70 years and finally it was time for them to return and rebuild the temple where they had once offered sacrifices to God. I can't wait to find out what will happen next. Well, you won't have to wait any longer because today's Bible story video is The Temple Was Rebuilt. After living in Babylon for 70 years, God's people were home. A group had returned to Jerusalem to rebuild God's temple. They had started the work, but their neighbors didn't want them to rebuild the temple, so they stopped building. The people made excuses. Maybe it isn't the right time to rebuild the temple, they said. They thought that because the task was difficult, maybe God didn't want them to do it. God sent the prophets Haggai and Zechariah to encourage the people. So the leaders, Zerubbabel and Joshua, started working on the temple again. At this time, 
Darius, the king of Persia, ruled over the land of Judah. The king was in charge of so much land, he put governors in charge of some of the land. A governor named Tatanai noticed God's people had started to rebuild the temple again. Tatanai talked to Zerubbabel and the others working on the temple. Do you have permission to rebuild this temple? Tatanai asked. The workers said, we do. Tatanai sent a worker to King Darius. This is what Tatanai's letter to King Darius said. To Darius the king, this letter is to tell you that the people of Judah are building the temple of the great God. They said King Cyrus gave them permission to rebuild the temple. Please search the royal records to see if this is true. King Darius's officials searched the royal record for Cyrus's order. They found it, a scroll with a record from King Cyrus. This is what was written on the scroll. Let God's temple be rebuilt. It will be a place to offer sacrifices. Let its foundation be rebuilt. King Cyrus had also ordered for the cost of building the temple to be paid for out of the royal treasury. So King Darius sent a letter back to Tatanai. He gave this order. Stay away from the workers in Jerusalem. Don't bother them or try to stop them. Give them whatever they need. Tatanai and the other officials obeyed King Darius' order. The Jewish leader kept building, and they finally finished the temple of God. The people celebrated and made offerings to God. They chose priests and assistants to serve in the temple. Then God's people celebrated the Passover. God's people were so happy. Now, the temple of God was finally complete. God's people rebuilt the temple so they would have a place to worship God. Years later, God sent his son, Jesus, to be with his people. Now God dwells not in the temple, but directly with his people. Jesus provided something better than the temple. He gives us himself. That was easy. The Jews had a lot of enemies who didn't want to rebuild the temple. These enemies were afraid that the Jews would become too strong and rebel against the people of Persia. So when the governor wrote letters to King Darius to warn him about the Jews were doing, it may seem as if the king and all the governors had all the power to stop God's people. But let's not forget who is really in charge here. <laughs> God. God's people rebuilt the temple to glorify him and give thanks for the way that he had provided for them. Rebuilding wasn't always easy. In fact, the Jews faced so much opposition that they even gave up for a while. 16 years went by when they did no work on the temple at all. Thankfully, God sent the prophet Haggai just at the right time. Haggai shared the word of the Lord and to the people. He encouraged them by reminding them that God was with them and that God could be glorified through their hard work. The people were once again ready to pick up their work. Have you ever felt like giving up because something was just too hard? Sometimes we all need a little encouragement. We can be comforted with the truth that even when things are difficult, God is still with us. He is always with us. What a great reason to <laughs> praise him with a worship song. Sometimes it's hard to wait for all the things that I want. Sometimes I kind of feel like it's just taking too
I'm gonna trust that you're working it out. I'm gonna hold up, slow down. I'm gonna trust that you're working it out. Well, this was an amazing way to spend a morning together, especially on a Sunday. I totally agree. This week, we're gonna continue working on our May God Time cards. I think you have some right there. I have there. a May God Time card right here. I, I followed this link. My mom sent an email and, and all of a sudden this appeared at my doorstep. I got a little thing that I can uh, check off and I think if I get a bunch of them or if I just send it back, honestly, I get a cool keychain. You do and I can't wait to get one to add to my collection. And the best part, is I get to spend some time with God. That's right. You know, that's and cool. you know what? This is our last month for doing God Time cards and doing our contest, so we want to definitely finish strong, yes, right? Yes, finishing strong is very important, and uh, it's really cool to have all the collection of the keychains. I totally well. agree. Well, I mean, this has been a great morning. I enjoyed our gummy challenge. Can't wait to find out what we're tasting next time we get together. It's going to be a good time. But yeah. I think it's time for us to pray and move on. Let's do, do it. Think? You want to pray for us? Sure will. Lord, thank you so much for this morning. Thank you for reminding us that um, you always find a way for us to do what you want us to do, even when it's hard. And Lord, I just ask that you help us to continue to turn to you in those hard times so that we can listen to you and know our next steps. Lord, thank you for um, candy and everything else you give to us. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.